Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about what's going on with the one, <laughs> not one piece. What I think is going on with the Dragon Ball card game. Thanks so much. All right, so if y'all have been here for a while, you know I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan, and I've opened tons of Dragon Ball cards. I will continue to open Dragon Ball cards, but I haven't been posting much Dragon Ball content. And I haven't been posting much Dragon Ball content because I've been really, 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 really excited about One Piece. And Dragon Ball has felt a little bit stale in gameplay to me lately, so I haven't really been playing much. But Dragon Ball is an amazing game. There's an awesome community. If you guys haven't heard about it, you should totally check it out. I think it's super, super cool. But if you are a Dragon Ball fan, and if you're a part of the community, and you know me from before my One Piece videos, then I would like to talk a little bit about what I think is going on with the game. Right now, the market's going down, people are leaving, there's people that are upset and people that are hyped about the new God Rare, there's lots of controversy about different things. All in all, Dragon Ball is not in the best place that it's been, but the meta looks super diverse and it looks like there's super cool stuff going on in the game. So I gotta give it credit where credit is due. However, don't think it's on the most successful track because it's becoming more and more complicated and the bar for entry is going higher and higher. So with the introduction of Zenkai, I think it may have the potential to shorten games because it's a new, more aggressive tactic. However, it's gonna make turns longer. It's gonna become even more confusing about when your turn starts and ends. Um, I like to think of myself as a relatively decent Dragon Ball player. I got 17th at Nats this year, which isn't bad. It's not topping, but it's still pretty good out of uh, for nationals. And I still forget sometimes when it's my turn. I'll be in a combo step and doing an arrival step, and then all of a sudden I can't remember after three things have gone back and forth in counter windows, and then my opponent's like, hey, are you done? And I'm like, oh yeah, wait, I forgot. Like, okay, all these things. So it gets very, 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 very complicated. There's so much going on. Um, so I think like if it were simplified, I think that would make it more appealing to new players. However, that's not how you make a game better for the seasoned players. You make it more complicated and add new mechanics, which is what they're doing. So it's great that they're catering to the players, but I think getting new players in is the difficult thing. So I think that it's gonna take a hit a little bit when the One Piece card game comes out in English, because I think a lot of people are gonna migrate to One Piece because it's a very interesting, interactive, fun game with really cool mechanics that have a lot in common with Dragon Ball. I don't think as many people are gonna be going from One Piece to Dragon Ball the way that people will be going from Dragon Ball to One Piece. And I think that's it's gonna happen probably over the course of the winter in the spring, so we may see a lull in that time. However, I think in the long term, the One Piece card game can actually save Dragon Ball or make Dragon Ball a lot more popular. And I know it sounds weird because you think, oh, people are gonna go from one game to another, so how can they make each other bigger? But I think One Piece just has such a massive fan base and there's clearly something weird going on with the advertising for Dragon Ball, right? It's like, we don't have any ads and One Piece isn't even out yet and we've already seen so many ads for it. There's so much money being put into getting this game in, on people's radars and on the map. With Dragon Ball, we never really could have that. And I believe that there are some licensing complications that play into why that happens. But at the end of the day, we're gonna get to advertise for the One Piece card game, which means more people are gonna find out about Toei, Shueisha, Bandai card games, which means more people eventually will find out about the One Piece, the Dragon Ball card game. So even if people play the One Piece card game, eventually they're gonna find out that there's a Dragon Ball card game. And if they're finding out that there's a Dragon Ball card game and they see how good the Dragon Ball cards look, it's very likely that they'll start buying Dragon Ball cards. And that's what the game actually needs. If you look at Pokemon, Pokemon is massive, but there's a lot more people that buy the cards than play the game and if people are buying the cards the game will stay alive that's what actually keeps the game alive it's not as much the competitive scene the competitive scene is great it's cool to have a healthy competitive scene but people buying cards is what keeps games alive so if people are finding out that there is a dragon ball card game from the one piece card game i think a lot of people actually will end up buying dragon ball product may even get into playing it and who knows where it can go from there but i think in the short term one piece is gonna kind of encroach on the Dragon Ball player base and it's gonna remove some people from playing it. But the developer team is doing a great job with the cards they're, they're making, the decisions they're making. I think the set looks really, really good that's coming up and the Zenkai cards just look awesome in general. So I think a lot of people will end up buying Dragon Ball cards the more that they learn about it. And we're gonna get more people in the anime card game community from the One Piece card game. So big picture, I think Dragon Ball is gonna do well in the long term, but 
small picture, I think it's kind of in a rough spot right now. It's gonna be really interesting to see what the response to Zenkai is, but definitely tune in and check out some of my shrippums. I am gonna be shripping a case and I'll be doing box openings of Zenkai. The cards look awesome. I don't know what all the textbook of words do on them, but they look really good. I hope you guys found this video interesting and helpful. I am Joku DMD. If you haven't uh, seen this channel before and you enjoyed this, come check out my shrippums sometime. It's supposed to that subscription button, a little ding dong bell. And I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. I said this one recently, but insurance companies don't don't want to help you. Uh, insurance companies make money by saying no to what you need. So when you look for a dentist that's in network, you're finding a dentist that's partnering with a company that's making money off of saying no to the things that you need, which is kind of counterintuitive. Basically insurance sucks. And in some instances you got to use it. It's the best thing that you have access to and you can get great care with it. I'm not saying that it's completely broken and you should never use it. There are definitely instances where it's going to benefit you greatly, but in the big picture, that's kind of what's going on. And if you have the ability to go somewhere that's out of network, have your insurance kick you some little coupon amount, which is basically what they do, and then pay out of pocket for your needs, you're usually gonna get much better care. Not to say that insurance doctors can't provide great care because there are tons of them. It's just more complicated, it's a trickier system, and it takes, it's exhausting. It's really, really exhausting. Both are tiring, but at the end of the day, I like helping people as best as I can, and that requires me to spend more time with them. And if I'm in network with an insurance company, I just can't spend as much time with my patients. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.